It's gonna be a night to remember. The bar's looking great, everything's great. The only thing opening this bar is the final piece in the jigsaw for me. Oh, well, for the whole family. Oh, shit. I've got an invite for you. For you, plus one, if there is a plus one. Is there a plus one? I don't think so. What, you don't think there's a plus one? I don't think... I won't be coming to the opening. Not appropriate. Oh, no. Someone gonna mind the shop, eh? Keep Kate Roth ticking over. Well, I'll give you a change of mind. You wanna let down your ponytail? Walk on the wild side, my bar midnight. feel about being in Meadowlands for a whole year? Well, I love it. What more could I want? Well, you'd probably say what women my age want and need is a man, but you know what? You'd be wrong. I've been reading up about this. Men are obsolescent. I mean, look at me. What do I need a man for? Sex? I've got Mark for that. Taking me to do's and parties like Danny's opening. Tommy Tyrrell. And listening. Well, I've got you, haven't I? Which is all you're good for, really, isn't it? So, what with Jezebel being so beautiful, all my needs are catered for. You look at me. You look how far I've come. I am totally happy. Totally fulfilled. Yeah. So you say, Briny. So you say. We're well, gonna have to do something about the lighting. It needs to be getting darker and darker as the night goes on. That way they lose track of time. A couple of bunches of flowers won't go amiss. Yes, boss. <laughs> then I've got Freddie doing the music. Yeah, so. well, none of your dub reggae, right? The faster the beat... The faster they drink. That's right. Now, when the party's in full swing, we get out of here, OK? 5 a.m., the car will be back there. We just jump in it and we drive, and we keep driving until we hit a motorway. Six months, babe. Mm -hmm. The bar on the sand, a couple of beachfront properties. Well, that's where we said we'd retire. It's a sun, sea, sand, and loads of sex. Is that a threat or a promise? <laughs> the twins are going to be all right with the upheaval? If we go, they'll come with us. Yeah, well, they're not kids, Danny. I'll have a word. What made you change your mind about this place? Why do you suddenly want out? This place, you know? It's wrong. In what way, exactly? Just trust me. It's wrong. I'm sorry. That's what I came here to tell you. Not this time. But you always escort me to social things and... Wait! Listen, Tom... Don't worry, honest to God, I don't remotely fancy you. Oh, she doesn't. Really and truly, none of us fancy you, Tom. You're totally sexless, like an amoeba. Please, Tom. Danny's opening. I need a man to take the bare look off me. I can't. Why not? Because I'm taking Zoe. You and Zoe? Zoe Brogan is my last hope. Danny Brogan. What about Danny Brogan? I need you to keep one of your beady eyes on him. The non-lazy one. 
Why? Because he's too happy, too settled. Isn't that the point? We're all happy in Meadowlands, suffused with happiness, drunk on it. We're vomiting our own happiness. It's sarcasm and bitterness, the last resort of the impotent. Did you know about this? No, how would I know? Zoe's your mate, you must have known. How could you have let me make a fool out of myself like that? <laughs> After all I've done for you. You don't need me to make a fool of you. You can manage that perfectly well on your own. What's that supposed to mean? Well, let's face it, for the last five years... Jezebel, we don't talk about the past. Really? So what are you doing in your room every night talking to him? Bryony. Mr Paulson. Would you like to be my date for the party? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Thanks. <laughs> no thanks necessary, love. I hear you. Twittering on. Oh, I can't go to the party on my own. Do you realise that is exactly how we ended up here? You just haven't changed, have you? Bernard, how the hell are you? Jovi as a butcher on a Saturday morning. How's you? Very well. Party invitation. Congratulations. Hmm. Mm. Starts at midnight, eh? Well, you know, footy at midnight, party at midnight, it's a Meadowlands thing. You are going to be there. Try and stop me. I've ordered in a few extra cases of crystal, get everyone swinging. Well, good for you. I'm not a drinker. You're a dancer, though, aren't you? Used to work undercover with drug dealers, had to learn how to throw a few shapes, you know. Oh, come on, Bernard. That's not learned. That's a gift from God. Be there or be lonesome. Hey, boys. <laughs> Fancy going to a party? Here you go. Now bring your wives, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, whatever. <laughs> it's going to be a great night. Make Sodom and Gomorrah look like a village fete, eh? <laughs> Free bar. Says here, all residents welcome. Nothing about workers. Oh, I never had you down as a snob, Bernard. What you up to, Danny? Having a party. What kind of party? Welcoming or leaving? You know, I can't tell you how well I sleep at night, eh? Knowing that you never clock off. Abby. Uh, hi. David, I'd like a divorce. Jezebel can be such a cow sometimes. Beautiful people are like that. You know, highly strung. <laughs> Trying to say I haven't changed. <laughs> of course I've changed. Have you? Have you really? Yeah, I have. So why don't you get over your fear of rejection and ask your little 17-year-old fuck buddy to take you to the party? Right. I'll go and ask him right now. If I tell him he's come to the party with me, he'll come. You just bloody watch! Mum, I thought you were at IT. New life, new name, new identity. Same old Briny. You know, you're painfully shy, David, and sexually. You, know, you lack confidence. I was the first female to take an interest in you, so you thought you loved me. And as for me, I, I was just a silly little girl that wanted to be a doctor's wife, so I thought I loved you. 
But you, you do love me, Abigail. You, you said... Yes, I know. I always will love you. But you're like a cancer, David. You're destroying me from the inside. And these last few days have made me realise I need to let go. Well, in the meantime, let's be friends. You know, friends who happen to be married. And then when it's time for us to return to reality, I won't stand in your way. Instant divorce. You'll be free to fulfill yourself. <sighs> Abigail, I... I don't deserve you. <laughs> you don't, do you? What are you doing? We're leaving. Meadowlands, we're getting out of here. No, we can't. Why? Because, Dad, because of everything. Yeah. And that's why we're leaving. That's why we're staying. Listen. It's non negotiable, all right? When did you start interfering in my sex life? I, I didn't. I'm not. Well, shut up, then. No, I, I won't. You shouldn't be sleeping with that boy. He's... He's what? Odd. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Mother, everybody here is odd. Even you. Especially you. <laughs> Advice on men. Let's face it, you haven't got a leg to stand on. You're not going out like that, are you? Don't you like it? If I was a bit of a perv into frumpy old tarts, maybe, but I'm a normal bloke. It's not you that'll be embarrassed, it'll be me. Sorry. You be here. Stupid! I'm sorry. Maybe it's time you packed my lady chubs here up on Elf Farm. Stupid. I'll just go and get changed. Men don't control me. I control men. And Marky's a pleasant distraction which makes me happy. And that is why you brought me here, Mum. To be happy. I'm wearing this dress to the party, but the zip's jiggered. Would you fix it for me? So. Start with a bit of chill out. Yeah, and then wind up to a bit of euphoric house by 3 a.m., eh? Segwaying into. Oh, I don't know, something a bit jazz funky and throw in a bit of rock for the hippies. <laughs> it's working out, isn't it? You know, I mean, everything. Yeah, it's really great. Dad, did you want to see me? Oh, yes, I do. I've got a job for you, young lady. Through there, please. I'll start with a playlist. Hey, listen to this. Belgium funk. Listen and wonder. Now, I need you to hand out these, as many as you can, to those guys in the green suits. Get them down to the party, get them hammered, so that we can slip away. We're leaving. For good. This place isn't for you, OK? That's not what you said when we got here. I know. God, for Christ's sake, Dad. What about Casey and the fight? I mean... I you were dead. It's okay, all right. No. No way. I am not gonna leave without the kids. No. Do you think I would? Hey, Freddy, what do you think of that one? What is wrong with me, eh? Why do you all want to make a fool of me? Especially you. It's not fair. You told me... It should stop. I mean, I should be with someone my own age. My bloody daughter. Why not? What's wrong with her? You used me, didn't you? Oh. No, that's not. That's not right, Brenda. You, you used me. You, you, how, how can you say that? That's, that's evil. Don't you bloody talk to me like that, you little bloody! I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not evil. I'm not evil. Look at 
at me. If you don't support me, show me some loyalty, I swear. Look, I've done nothing wrong, all right? But the police don't care about that. They'll fit me up. They'll take me away from you. And you'll be all alone again. Brownie, I know I'm a difficult man to live with, but I love you. You were here all night with me in bed. Good girl. I knew he'd done something bad. But I gave him an alibi anyway. He was picking up hitchhikers. Young boys, like you. He killed them, and when I asked him why, he said, cos he could. I couldn't help myself. He made me. I needed him. Everyone hated me more than him. That's why I came to Meadowlands. Someone. Who is it? He won't say. And then there's you. Happy as a dog with two tails. Five days in a row, you haven't mentioned dieting. Why is that? Cos you're getting orgasmed. And the last time you were this happy, look what happened to me. Stuck here for the rest of my life. We can go back one day. Bollocks! We can't go back. The world will never forget Bryony Thompson. Dear Evelyn, no matter how difficult this is for me to write, I know it's far more difficult for you to read. Obviously, it would be inappropriate for me to accept Danny's invitation to the bar opening, because what I did to you, there are no excuses. I have no right to expect your forgiveness, but I urge you, I beg you, please do not let my stupid, shameful actions poison the lives of you and your family. Sincerely, David York. Come on, guys, we need to talk about We're this. not leaving, so forget it. Think about it, Cuba could be amazing. Mum, a bullet in the head feels exactly the same in the sun as it does in the rain. Don't, don't you remember this, Mum? This is why we ended up here in the first place. Oh, darling, of course I do. Is anyone home? Yeah, darling, we're in here. What's going on? Nothing. We're happy here in Meadowlands and we want to stay. Listen. No, baby, listen to us. We know this place isn't perfect, but the kids... What are you still... talking about? When did you change your mind? Call it parental responsibility. No, parental responsibility is getting them out of here. Do you understand me? Because they are not safe. None of us are. Why not? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, you couldn't get enough of this place, and now you suddenly want to leave. You're outvoted, Dad, so just accept it. Just stay out of it, you. No, darling, the truth. Look, I need to know why we're not safe. Why aren't we safe here? Don't you fucking do this, Dad. Don't fucking do this. It needs to be said, OK? Why does it, why does it need to be said? It just does. We have to leave this place. Because I killed Jack Donnelly. <laughs> Dad. 
I came home and he was upstairs. Yeah, Jack. Oh, my God. He was going to rape Mark. Rape right, Mark? Why, why are you doing this? When did you suddenly get so honest? You just leave it away. Why are you dragged me into this? Don't, Don't you just... turn this on me! If you weren't such a sick fuck dressing in your sister's clothes, then I would never... <sighs> OK. I was dr dressed in your clothes. And it was a phase, but I'm cured now because Father here applied some homicide therapy. But it was to save me, so that's okay. What's not okay, Dad? It's that we buried the body in the back garden. And then I had to move it because I thought a Winters girl might find it. And then, and then someone else must have found it in the woods because there was this dummy thing there. But the point is, is that we got away with it. So maybe now, we could just forget the whole thing and live here and not get into a fucking state about it. And, and just be normal. I think I liked you better when you didn't talk. Danny Brogan isn't going anywhere without his family. And they're not about to sign up for another midnight drive into the dangerous unknown. You're staking a lot on the strength of the family bond. Not exactly something you know a lot about, is it, Bernard? Well, I don't imagine you know much about that sort of thing either, Samantha. But I'm keeping a close eye on Danny, and you've got your surveillance cameras, so, uh, belt and braces. And if things get really ugly... I've got the mighty Thor here on the subs bench. Closest thing you'll get to swinging the mighty anything, Bernard. I still don't understand you. You get away with it, but now you want to leave. Why? Because this place, the whole thing, it's not just about witness protection, all right? It's something else. It's something worse. You're being paranoid. No, I'm not. I don't know who's real. I don't know who's trying to get inside my head. I mean, like Freddy, he's one of them. Winter skill, definitely. Who else? Brenda and Jezebel. Dr. York. It's like they are all working on us. Yeah, out of self-interest. Their lives are in danger out there, and they're shit scared that we're going to tell the world where this place is. We're staying, right? End of discussion. Oh, I've got money, food, and petrol, and tonight, during the party, that's our opportunity. Do you understand me? I'm getting out of here, and you three are coming with me. to me about killing Jack. I'm sorry. I've done some terrible, stupid things in my life, but you've got to trust me on this one, OK? I know I lied to you, but I'm just trying to protect you all. This place, it will change you. It's stifling you already. Paul wrapping me, maybe that's what I want. Especially now. Nikki, you're not a kid anymore, do you understand me? Both of you, you're adults now, so you can make your own choices. But I meant what I said. I'm leaving. Because I'd rather risk my life out there than my mind in here, do you understand? I don't want to lose you to this place. You took some responsibility for your actions. What do you mean? I have got plans for you, cryptic boy. Mark, what do you want? To, to take you to the party. I thought you'd be taking Jezebel. I, I sleep with Jezebel, but she's a girl and I need a woman. 
on my arm at the party, so... But, um... Would, would you mind quietening down your appearance a bit, please? Because it's, it's not just yourself you'll embarrass, it's me. Not good. Don't don't like lying. It's not good hey, to lie. Marky, it's not you good. You were the one lying to me. You promised you'd help me with Molly. Don't need to lie anymore. Well, then maybe Meadowlands is the wrong place for you. Meadowlands is one big lie. People's lives are one big lie. Oh, who gives? It works. Live with it. Jezebel. Yeah. And Brenda. It's a nightmare. Uh, I don't know you anymore. We used to be close, Mark. What happened? Meadowlands happened. You don't think Dad's right, do you? I don't know. If he lied about Jack. I don't know, it's this... this place. It's like... the more you struggle, the more... the more tangled up you get. You look like shit. Well, what's all this about, then? I'm going to party with Mark. He's gonna love you like that. Actually, he wants me like this. Mum. A 17-year-old boy is telling you what to wear and how to behave. When are you ever going to learn? Jezebel, I know you're jealous. I am not jealous, you stupid woman. I am upset. You said Mark was odd. Told me to stay away. You lied to me. Like you lied to me about Pulson. You brought that bastard into my life. And he's still here, isn't he? <sighs> You've got to choose, Mum. It's me or Pulson. Have you seen my blue high heels? No. How would I know where they... Where they... Where they, <clears throat> where they are? Mark. He won't leave us behind, will he? <clears throat> How did you get in? Am I not welcome? No, make yourself at home. Thank you. I just dropped by for a quick chat. Dad's in the shower and Mum's just getting ready. That's OK. I came to speak to you guys. What about? Think of this as a little pastoral visit. I uh, wanted to make sure you and your sister were, were happy. I know it can be difficult to adjust. I know that Meadowlands can feel small and claustrophobic. I want you to both stop and visualise the alternative for a second. Who's out there? What's out there? Why you first came here? Thanks, Mr Winterskill. We really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to know that community policing's alive and kicking. Well, mostly kicking in your case, but we won't rake over past mistakes. Well, we've all made a few of those. Haven't we? Right, well, I'd better go and trim my moustache for the party. Enjoy yourselves. And don't let your dad do anything foolish, eh? Good.
Abby. Listen, uh, it's going to be a lovely day tomorrow, and this may be a crazy idea, but I thought you might like to come windsurfing with me. I, I, I arranged a lesson for you in the morning. What do you think? I'm pregnant. How long have you known? Today. I've just found out. Lie. You've known for longer you're manipulating this. Please, David, don't be like this. That's shit about being able to fulfill myself. You still can. I'll give you your divorce. Stop playing the pathetic wife. You knew I could never leave a child. Plan this! David! But Brenda's nice. Kept getting excited. Fair enough. But as long as I'm dallying with you, she's off limits, OK? In fact, she's off limits, period. So is she coming tonight, then? I don't know if she can handle all of this. You know, she's not as fragile as she looks. When did you get to be so emotionally intelligent? The second you walked into my life. You're a dangerous package. Come on, let's go. Please take a drink. <laughs> Champagne, everybody. Are we all in the mood for a party? Please. It's nice, it's nice and warm inside. All right, son. I thought you liked me better when I didn't talk. You get in there, shake your fringe, eh? Come on, everybody! Champagne! Cheer up, Marky! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Here you are. OK? Enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah. Great party, Dan. Whole town's going to be drunk and senseless by dawn, eh? Well, you're not staying on the lemonade all night, are you? That'll rot your gut. Come on, you get up there, kick your height. No, thanks. Someone's got to mind the shop, eh? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, minding my shop. The difference is, I run my shop. Who runs yours, Bernard? You can't leave, little Lance. Nothing is definite. I'm just saying that we might leave. No one leaves! Who says? Look, th they will find you. They will stop you. You can't do this. I'm sorry. Bye, Tom. I want to get out what? of here. I want to get out of here. Are you in? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Can you just wait for the glasses over there? Those ones, yeah. Yeah. I've seen you for ages. Enjoying yourself? I just couldn't keep away. Tonight, I'm going to party. I'm getting ready to go to a party. <laughs> Sweet. Pathetic. But Briony. My name is Brenda. My name's Briony Thompson. And Briony Thompson's a sad, desperate, hopeless frump. That's why you could never get a man. I mean, a proper man. Not a freak like me or a weirdo like Mark. You only ever got the dregs. Shut up. The nutters who sniffed your vulnerability. Bryony, can't you see how Jezebel manipulates you and plays on your guilt? Now she betrayed you with that freak next door. She's probably at the party laughing at you right now. 
her and everyone else around here. They only like you because you make them feel normal and intelligent. That's what clowns are for. And you, Briny, are a fucking clown. What's with Doctor Doom? Been at the Smarties, I think. Right, that's it. We're getting out of here. Mum, we're coming too. We're in. I'll tell Dad. I love this. Hey, Jess. Jessie, come on. Come on. Hey, Jezebel. Come on, Jess. What the fuck is wrong with you? My God. Hey. You want to just cool it there, mate? Cool what? Mate. It's all cool and mate and everything with you, isn't it? What is that? And your sexy wife and your big old swagger. Smug! It's so fucking little to be smug about. Come on, Doc. Why don't you and me go over to the bar and uh, talk diseases, yeah? <laughs> Come on. You OK? We're coming with you. Oh, baby, thank God. Uh, attention! Attention! Right. Uh, some of you may have noticed there's someone missing tonight. My mum. Well, she's not missing anymore. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the coolest, the funkiest, the sexiest woman in Meadowlands and the best mum in the bloody world, Miss. Brenda Ogilvy! That is baby girl. He's gone. You made him go. <gasps> oh. Come on, Ab, let's dance. Mm -hmm. Rather not. All right, suit yourself. Zoe, how about you, Princess? You fancy shaking your booty with me? No, thanks, Dave. Oh, I see. You're saving a dance for your dad. Danny the Dad, the author of your being, I understand. We all need a dad, don't we? I bet you're a real daddy's girl. Yeah, I bet you are, too. Hey. We need to get out of here. Yeah. As soon as I make my speech, OK? OK, OK. Sorry, boys and girls. Sorry to interrupt. And he promises me he's going to keep it short and sweet. So get your ears up for your host, Danny Brogan. There are seven acknowledged wonders of the world, but I think I have witnessed an eighth. Meadowlands! Yeah, this place, my fellow Meadowlanders, we are special. And the reason we are special, my friends, is because we are dead. As far as the outside world is concerned, we have passed away. Huh? No past, no present, no future! <laughs> like a dream, but it's not a dream, eh? Out there, in that world, where each and every one of us, we walked to the edge and we looked over the precipice, that was the dream. I tell you, this place, this place is real! <laughs> I mean, look at you all, eh? Brimming with happiness and contentment, because we are all in this together. I look at you all, my friends, my family, and it makes me proud. Because like as the t-shirt says, I love Meadowlands! Yeah. Ain't it pretty? I 
to say something. Oh, no. You've had enough, mate. Come on. Hey. No, hey, David. Hey. David, David, just leave it. I want to tell them, I want to tell these people the truth. David. Leave it. What truth? What are you talking about? The truth about you, Danny. Your life. That's everything. I'll tell, him, David. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. History has been that stage of What are you talking about? What truth? Baby, I... I need to tell you something. And a lesson, girl. Respect is an investment. Looks like you've got a problem. New house, new life, new us, eh? Welcome to Meadowlands. <laughs> <laughs> 